Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Action Figure Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Batman vs Superman Aquaman 6 inch figure. This figure is part of wave 2 of the Batman vs Superman action figures, uh, at least in the collector targeted line of $20 price point figures. Looking at the packaging, it's the same thing we've seen before. You get the red, white, and black line look. It says Batman v Superman with the logo on top. DC Multiverse below that it says this is Aquaman. It has a photo of the actor portraying Aquaman. Looks pretty cool. Side of the box gives us a glimpse inside the packaging. Opposite end shows us that picture of Cal Drogo, I, I mean Aquaman, once again. I think it's a pretty nice looking artwork. And if you want to pause and read that, well, feel free to do so. The back of the box shows us that you need all of these pieces in order to assemble Batman's grapnel blaster. So this will provide us another part in finally getting that built. You can see the other characters that are available in this toy line. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get Aquaman out of the box, and then we'll take a closer look and see what he's like. All right, you guys, and here is Aquaman out of the box. And it's interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not what you what comes to mind when you think of Aquaman, but I think they did a pretty good job emulating what they created for the film. Uh, it's definitely different. And uh, frankly, I'm pretty surprised that Aquaman is even in this multiverse line at this point in time. But, you know, I'm pretty happy that he is because, of course, we want to get an Aquaman figure. Um, I think that the sculpt work is pretty good. Likeness isn't bad. It's not great. The body does look pretty nicely detailed. Coloration looks good. The proportions of the figure look decent. Uh, he looks lean, but he is pretty muscular. The outfit is pretty nicely done on Mattel's part. It definitely looks a little more interesting than what we've seen on pretty much anything else in the Batman vs Superman multiverse line. He's got a good bit of articulation and comes with an accessory. Go ahead and give you a close up here of the head sculpt. This doesn't really look like your father's Aquaman. This is more like Rob Zombie Aquaman, and uh, it does look pretty crazy. I mean, I guess if you think about it, would a blue-eyed, blonde-haired dude probably be living in the ocean? Um, he'd probably look more like this if he were really a dude living in the ocean. I mean, I think. Um, I think it looks okay. The likeness to the actor isn't spot on. I think that it's kind of there but it doesn't look a whole lot like the dude. I mean, they have the right idea. It's just not the absolute best execution, um, but I think it looks all right. It, again, passable and probably a better likeness than what we've seen with uh, well, any of the other characters in this six inch toy line, but um, you know, still not perfect. Uh, it's painted pretty well though. The eyes are nicely painted. Eyebrows look pretty clean. Uh, just like the actor does in real life, he's missing a piece of his eyebrow right there, which is a nice little detail on Mattel's part. Uh, the nose looks pretty good. Cheekbones, lips. Uh, lips have a little bit of color on them. Um, it, it looks good. It looks good. It just doesn't look magnificent. Uh, the beard uh, has an, a little bit of extra paint on it. It's nicely sculpted, too. Same with the hair. Pretty good sculpting for the most part. Uh, coloration. You get some blonde streaks over his uh, brown sort of color. And uh, you can see it's kind of just flowing. It looks like this guy might be in the water because the hair is just kind of billowing a little bit. Uh, rest of the body, as you can see, he's pretty well built, very lean, but, uh, you know, muscular nonetheless. He's got uh, quite a good bit of uh, definition here in the abs and in his chest area. Uh, the arms are pretty nicely tatted. Uh, same with the side there. Let me just show you the detail. Uh, gotta hand it to Mattel. They did a nice job with, with that. I mean, the, the lines are all very nice and clean. Uh, coloration is, uh, is really good. Really good. Pretty surprised at this. Uh, he's got like a bandolier type thing here. You see it's got a, uh, what looks kind of like a pauldron right here. It's nice detail, some metallic paint to it. And then, uh, this looks okay. And then there's a bottom piece right there as well. Uh, his pants are kind of also like a metallic-y sort of green color. And then you get some black that kind of looks similar to his tats that he's got going on. And that looks all right. Uh, gauntlets are basically just gold. And underneath you get some more of this, like, it looks like straps maybe. Uh, the boots are pretty nice, very glossy, nice sculpt work, nice texturing. Um, I think those look really good. Really good, nice boots here. Uh, the joints are a little bit flimsy, though, so, I mean, they, they kind of move a little bit too easily. Uh, in the way of articulation, 
He does have a ball joint here at the head, but you're not really going to get anything other than side to side movement uh, because of that hair. It's just really restrictive. He has ball joints at both of the shoulders and you can move them both pretty nicely. And uh, he's got swivels at both of the biceps. Check this out. Ball joints at both of the elbows. That's not saying Mattel does a whole lot with their figures. Most of the Batman v Superman figures were only blessed with bins. So it's pretty nice to see them do this. Actually, Wonder Woman had ball joints, but they were very useless. You can solve him at both of the wrists. His left hand is closed and uh, the right one is open. He's got a silva here at the waist. He's got the typical Mattel articulation at both of the hips. Does a pretty decent split, if I don't say so myself. And uh, you can move his legs um, pretty much a full 90 degrees almost, which uh, very nice. He's got cuts at both of the thighs. You get your uh, bends at both of the knees and they conceal them pretty well. When you move his leg down, you can see that there's a little bit of his pants that kind of covers a joint, you know, when it goes back up. So that, that's pretty cool. You can't really see him in the back all that much either. Uh, for the ankles, all you're going to get is a, a swivel right there. They're just going to move like that. So unfortunately, no ball joints, no uh, ankle pivots. But I mean, for the most part, I think he's pretty nicely articulated. So Aquaman comes with his staff because of course he does and uh, there's not really a whole lot going on with it. I mean, it's sculpted all right. It is very simple. There's not any extra paint detail or no, no wash, nothing just to kind of make it look a little more exciting. Um, but you know, it's passable, it looks okay. He holds the staff just fine, which is important. And then you also get these two little thingies here, which are part of the uh, grapnel gun uh, build-a-weapon pieces. So um, not really quite sure how these are going to work yet. I'm gonna need to get that weapon assembled. And then, uh, you know, later we'll do a video of the grapnel gun itself. But, uh, you know, for what we got here, I mean, I guess it's okay. It's really hard to say because, you know, we need to see it in the context of the whole thing being assembled. Just seeing it like this, um, you know, doesn't really tell us a whole lot about what this build a weapon accessory is gonna be like. So as you can see, little by little, the Justice League is coming together. I do wonder if Mattel's going to give us a Flash figure in the 6-inch line or a Cyborg. If they do, then we'll pretty much just need Green Lantern and we'll have the whole Justice League a whole year before the movie even comes out. And I wouldn't doubt it that we're going to see all of these guys repacked for that toy line next year. And I do want to point out very quickly that Aquaman is a little bit taller than the other figures, which is interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Batman vs. Superman Aquaman 6-inch figure. All in all, you guys, I think that it's a pretty decent figure. Um, it isn't a tremendously exciting figure. I mean, come on, this is the 6-inch DC Multiverse line. But I do think it's a little bit nicer than the other figures that Mattel has offered us for this assortment. I do think it's a little more nicely sculpted and definitely more nicely painted than anything we've gotten for the 6-inch Multiverse. But that isn't really saying a whole lot because a lot of these figures have been kind of disappointing. This one actually isn't too bad. The character design, yeah, it's pretty far out. It's very different than anything we've ever seen before. But uh, the figure itself, I think that Mattel did a pretty decent job with it. And uh, for the most part, I am pretty happy with it. I'm mostly pleased with the articulation. Very nice that he has full functioning ball joints for the elbows, which is very unique for a six inch Mattel figure. Articulation is mostly good. Uh, unfortunately, he does have a closed left hand. If he would have had an open left hand, he could hold the staff in both hands. Unfortunately, he doesn't. Leg articulation is good. Not a huge fan of the fact that he doesn't have ankle pivots, but he seems to be standing okay. All in all, I'm pretty pleased with the figure. If you're collecting the six inch line for the Batman vs Superman multiverse figures, then you do want to get this one to have, so that way you can have them all and be on your way to making the Justice League. But if you don't, you're picking and choosing with this line. I still think it's one of the better figures in the line, and I probably would recommend it to you. But if you only want Batman and Superman, then, well, most likely you already have those figures. I'm going to say it. I like Aquaman. I think Mattel did a pretty good job. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him retooled or repacked down the line. All right, my friends, I do hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, then I do encourage you to please like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Aquaman, whether or not this is something you might add to your collection. Be sure and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Victoria's Cantina. Till next time, my friends. Bye-bye.